few performances in the bird world are more memorable than the dawn display of greater prairie chickens at their booming ground, or like, the traditional spot where males dance, call, and try to impress females with their vigor. When displaying, the males erect ear-like plumes on the head and blow up bright orange air sacs on the neck, transforming themselves from brownish chicken-like birds into brightly colored performers, all the while drumming with their feet and producing whooping and cackling calls. Some booming grounds or legs have been used for more than a century and are considered ancestral, whereas others, more recently established, are called satellite areas. When prairie chicken populations are low, most males assemble at ancestral areas, but during periods of higher populations the satellite areas may contain many males, especially younger ones. Males' territories within the booming ground appear to be oriented according to marks in the terrain such as depressions, drainages, fences, cow droppings, and wheel tracks. Modifying these features can result in males modifying the shapes of their territories. The extinct heath hen was a subspecies, Cupido, of greater prairie chicken that inhabited the eastern seaboard from Maryland to Massachusetts in the colonial era. Excessive hunting of this bird led to restrictions as early as 1791, but even so declines continued. The last heath hen died on Martha's Vineyard, Massachusetts, in 1932. Greater prairie chickens occasionally hybridize with lesser prairie chickens. Male hybrids produce a booming sound, that is intermediate in frequency between the two species. For most of the year, greater prairie chickens live inconspicuously in brush areas of the Great Plains and prairies, where their plumages and habits keep them well concealed. The best place to see them is on their legs, but because of the sensitivity of these locales, it's best to join an organized trip to a booming ground between late March and early May. Outings with bird clubs or tour groups are widely advertised. Participation requires a very early departure in order to be in place, usually in a blind, before dawn. Plump, chicken-like bird found in grasslands. Body and wings entirely barred brown with paler buffy throat. In spring, males gather at this play site and dance to attract females. Look for them hunched over wick, ear like feathers protruding from the head and yellowish-orange skin exposed on the neck inconspicuous and difficult to find away from display sites. Separate from lesser prairie chicken by range, averages slightly darker and larger than lesser. Darker than sharp-tailed grouse with more heavily barred sides and belly, rounded tail. At one time, the eerie hollow moaning of male prairie chickens, displaying on their spring booming grounds was a common sound across much of Central and Eastern North America. Today the prairie chickens are quite uncommon and localized. The race on the Atlantic seaboard, called the heath hen, became extinct in 1932. Greater prairie chickens still thrive on a few areas of native grassland in the Midwest. Feeding behavior forages mostly on the ground, occasionally in trees. Most feeding in early morning and evening. Eggs usually 10-12, sometimes 7-17. Olive to pale buff, speckled with dark brown. Incubation is by female only, 23-25 days. Young, follow female away from nest shortly after hatching. Young find all their own food. Can make short flights at about 2 weeks, stronger flights at 3 weeks. Young usually remain with female for almost 3 months. Young follow female away from nest shortly after hatching. Young find all their own food. Can make short flights at about 2 weeks stronger flights at three weeks. Young usually remain with female for almost three months. Diet mostly seeds, leaves, insects. Winter diet is mostly leaves and seeds, also waste grain in agricultural fields. Historically, may have eaten many acorns in winter, and still, may do so where they are available. In summer eats a variety of leaves, buds, seeds, berries, and insects. Young birds eat more insects. Nesting in spring, males gather on booming grounds and display there to attract females. Booming ground often on low hill, with good visibility, typically 820 males present, exceptionally up to 70. In display, male lowers head and raises tail, inflates air, sacks on neck, raises feather tufts, stamps feet rapidly while making hollow moaning sounds, may leap in the air with loud cackles. Female visits booming ground, mates with one of the males. 
NIST site is on ground, among thick tall grass. NIST, built by female, is shallow depression lined with grass, leaves, feathers. Once a common site all over the Great Plains, the Greater Prairie Chicken has experienced significant declines. Like its name, the Greater Prairie Chicken is similar to a domesticated chicken in shape and size. Yet they look nothing like the common farm birds. Males have distinct, yellow eyebrows and brightly colored air sacs on their throats. Both males and females have bold brown and white striped feathers. The greater in their name distinguishes them from the slightly, smaller and lighter colored lesser prairie chicken. Greater Prairie Chicken Fact Scientific Name, Timpanuchus Cupido Federal Listing, Near Threatened Population, Estimated 360,000 Ideal Habitat, Tall and Mixed Grass Prairies with Cover for Nesting Range, Small Populations Throughout the Great Plains from Canada to the Mexican Gulf Coast, as well as into the Midwest. Nickname, Boomer Greater, Prairie Chickens are best known for their elaborate mating rituals. Every spring, males gather together on traditional breeding grounds known as legs or booming grounds where each male defends a small territory. First, he raises his pinny feathers, long feathers on the neck, and tail feathers, inflates his bright orange throat sack, and lowers his wings. Then boom. The loud booming sounds made, with their air sacs can be heard over a mile away. Then, they rapidly stamp their feet and do a stylized dance by rotating in a half circle one way, then the other way, and make runs at one another. Males often leap into the air to cackle and attack each other with their wings, feet, and beaks. Even females get in on the action by chasing one another on the legs. Some ancestral legs have been used by the greater prairie chickens for more than a century. The best time to see these displays are just before and after sunrise in spring. Females lay 7 to 17 eggs in nests hidden in tall, dense grass. They hatch after 23 to 26 days, and the female leads the hatchlings back to the legs to eat grass seeds and insects. Females lay 7 to 17 eggs in nests hidden in tall, dense grass. They hatch, after 23 to 26 days, and the female leads the hatchlings back to the legs to eat grass seeds and insects. Why the Greater Prairie Chicken is endangered Greater Prairie Chickens have fed poorly due to grassland habitat being converted to other development uses. There are three subspecies of Greater Prairie Chicken, each with radically different fates. The heath hen became extinct in 1932. At Waters Prairie Hen survives only in small portions of southeast Texas and is listed as endangered in the U.S., and the Greater Prairie Chicken, though threatened and isolated in much of its range, remains numerous enough to be hunted in four states. Aside from habitat loss, the Greater Prairie Chicken is also threatened by loss of genetic variants resulting from the isolation of populations with no natural corridors between groups. Most management focuses on habitat improvement, but population reintroduction may eventually be necessary to ensure genetic diversity. The largest remaining populations are in Kansas, Nebraska and South Dakota.